Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, um, not it so It looks good. like you just hurt yourself. Yeah, I was playing soccer with my kid, just having fun, and he kind of got me in the side of the leg, and I heard something. Oh, yeah? Some sound, and now I've got pain in my knee. Uh, my name is Dennis. I'm the athletic trainer. Oh, oh nice. Do you, mind if, you. you mind if I uh, help you? No, not at all. You don't I think mind? I need some help because it really hurts. It hurts, huh? Yeah. Okay, so let me examine you, and uh, I'll tell you what I think, okay? okay. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, here, let me help you oh. get down on the grass, okay? Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay? Oh, all right. All right, got it. All right, so let me ask you a few questions first before I, we even get started. So um, you say you got hit on the outside of the knee, your son hit you? Yeah. Okay, and um, did anything snap or pop? I heard like a sound, not so much a pop, but I heard a crunch sound or something. Okay, so I had instant pain. Okay, so you heard, and so you stopped playing immediately, yeah. huh? Okay, and um, so can you show me with one finger where the pain is? Ah, oh, gosh, it's like on the outside and the inside here. It's here, can I move like your dog sure. out the way? Okay. Right there? Yeah. Okay. And a little bit like behind the knee, too, okay. it feels like. All right. Um, in, any pain or anything down here, down in your leg or anything? No, but no, you know, a while there? back um, I had heard it doing the same thing and yeah. I saw a doctor and he said you know well we'll just evaluate and see how it goes and the pain went away but this time okay so you heard it before yeah. huh? how long ago was that a few months ago a few months ago yeah and you saw a doctor yeah. and no surgery or anything no surgery okay no. Let me move your dog out the way all right all right so um ankles okay you can move your ankle back yeah. and forth you can move the all right ankle. hip is okay yeah all right um so you say right in here somewhere, huh? Yeah. Okay, all right. So um, we have a previous injury and you've been able to play soccer after that injury. You've been back 100%. 100%. Okay, that's good. So, um, all right, let me, can you straighten the other leg out for me? Sure. All right, so what I'm doing now is we have no referred pain, ankles okay. We know our previous history, okay. We know our mechanism. Um, so now what I'm doing is looking, I'm comparing the, the involved side to the non-involved side. Okay, I'm looking here, I'm looking here, okay? I noticed that you were limping pretty badly, okay? So that's that's not a good sign, okay? So... No, it I, definitely hurts when I put pressure on it when I'm walking. Okay, so uh, at looking, I see some sw a little swelling here. How long ago did this happen? Um, just happened, maybe a few hours ago. Oh, a few hours ago, okay. Uh, so I do see some swelling, all right, compared to this side. Um, everything else looks good. The symmetry is the same and all that, but I do see swelling across the medial side. Okay, is it okay if I touch you? Yes, go Okay, ahead. all right. So normally, um, you might be more comfortable if you, are you okay sitting down or you'd rather lay down? Either one, whichever okay. you need me all to right, do well, to no, we're good. It. You're good, okay. So I'm gonna just move it a little bit so I can see some landmarks. Excuse me, your dogs, okay. <laughs> Relax for me. Okay, so I just see m mild swelling. That's about it so far. I don't see anything else abnormal. Okay, so we're just going to check your kneecap. Kneecap's okay. I usually check everything else and then I get to the injured site last because I want to make sure that nothing else is hurt. Okay, so kneecap is okay, right? No. Nope. Yeah. All right, good. No pain on the outside of the knee? No. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to bend it just a little bit. And how's your patellar tendon? That's okay? That's okay. All right, good, good, good. How about up here in your quad? It's okay. No too. problem, okay. Any any pain or anything behind the knee? No, not behind Okay, the all right, so everything else looks good. Move your ankle back and forth. All right, good. All right, go ahead and lay down for me. So what I'm gonna do now is, relax for me. I'm gonna palpate the inside of your knee where you said it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, that's the area, right? Sore to the touch. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's the medial collateral ligament area. Okay, that's sore. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up your joint line. I'm going to put your heel right here. And that opens up your medial joint line, which is right there. You feel yeah. any pain in there? I do. Sore to the touch. Okay, so sure. that's sore, huh? So you, you don't know this, but your medial collateral ligament is connected to your medial meniscus. So a lot of times when you get hit on the outside of the knee, mm -hmm. you injure your MCL, but sometimes if it's bad enough, you could also tear your meniscus because they're connected, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is check your ACL real quick. 
by doing a drawer test, okay? Okay, so that's nice and solid, no problem. I'm gonna check your lateral collateral ligament. No problem there? No. Okay, appears to be nice and stable. All right, before I get to this MCL, I wanna check this one. Have you ever injured this MCL? No, I haven't. No. Okay, so we got a good, healthy MCL. So let's put this one down nice and slow. So I'm gonna check it in extension, which checks the capsule and nice and tight. Then we put it in 15 degrees and now we check the MCL. And of course, this is normal play and it has a nice end point. So that's a nice, strong, stable knee. And let's see how the other one is. All right, so we're gonna check the capsule. Relax for me. Got you. That bother you at all? No. No? Okay, capsule's nice and tight. All right. And now we'll check that MCL. And does that bother you at all? No. No, huh? Okay, so the MCL appears to be nice and stable. Okay. So now we're gonna check the meniscus a couple ways. Okay. One of them is hyperflexion. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that hurt, huh? Yes. You heard it pop? Okay, no. and then hyperextension. Yeah, okay. A little bit of yeah, so when we hyperflex it, that causes the meniscus to move posterior and get pinched, and that bothered you. Yes. All right, so that was a positive test. So now we're going to do another test called a McMurray's test, okay, which isn't as definitive as hyperflexion in my. But a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. And of course, you're. you're Tender to the touch. Yes. Yeah. So I'm in your joint line where your meniscus is, and that's very tender. Okay. So the good news, I think, is your MCL is okay, okay. but you're, you're showing symptoms of maybe a meniscal injury. Okay. okay. So let's have a seat in this chair here. I'll help you up, and I just want to check oh. your muscles and make sure they're nice and strong and your range of motion. Dogs. Okay, so what I want you to do is just extend this knee straight, good, and bend it. Okay, any pain with that? No. No arms crossed for me. So now we'll do a muscle test and see how, make sure your quads are strong. Okay. Up. No, no, extend your knee no. up and hold it for five seconds. I'm trying to push it down and break it. Good, nice and strong. Okay, now keep your hamstring right there. And I'm gonna try to straighten your leg. Ready? And you curl it. Ready? Don't let me. Don't let me straighten it. Okay. Good. So muscles are nice and strong. No muscle problems. Okay. So in conclusion, I think that you may have hurt your medial meniscus. Um, so I would definitely recommend you icing this right now and then going to see your orthopedic doctor to have this checked out. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not finding any other structural damage, but I'm, I'm thinking that you may have hurt your medial meniscus. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Thank you.